Hi viewers, it's Eric from B-Side. Today we have here a 2017 Toyota Highlander Hybrid Limited with JBL and factory navigation. And we're going to be installing the foam mirroring system, the IF02EP, along with an Apple iPhone 6 Plus. This kit is also compatible with the iPhone 5 and also the iPhone 7. Let's not waste any time and let's get started. Now that we're in the car, the first step we want to do is remove this long panel piece over here. So you want to carefully do so by grabbing a hold of a panel removal tool. Start from this end and just carefully unclip the clips and just go all the way across. Okay, once it's uh, removed, just um, look behind it. There's two connectors. Just simply disconnect them. The second connector might be a little tricky. There's a little tab. Instead of pushing up, you're going to just push it down and it will simply come out very easily. And the second step is to remove this trim piece over here. We're going to do so just by grabbing this bottom piece and just gently push it towards you. And next, you're going to remove these two vents. Let's start off with this one. It's just being held by clips. Just grab like this and just pull it towards you very gently. And we'll do it for the left side as well. Okay, next, grab your... 10 millimeter socket wrench with an extension and there's gonna be four 10 millimeter bolts that you need to remove there's one two three and there's another one over here same area on the left side where the right side is located so just spot one by one just remove them after the four 10 millimeter bolts are removed grab a hold of a really big blanket you want to lay it down right here that's where the radio is gonna sit on while we work on the back side of it. So here's some blankets over here. And pull it out very gently. And these are the connectors that we'll be working on. The first connector we will work on is this connector over here. Okay, so simply just hold and just pull. And you'll find that we have a matching connector as part of our interface. This is the part that gives power to the USB. So once this is connected, it's good to go. And the next connector we're gonna work on is this connector right up above. Just simply pull it out like that. And we're gonna daisy chain our interface onto it. There you go, very, very easy. And the next step we wanna do is there's gonna be one ground wire. This is for your video and motion controller. Grab an eight millimeter socket wrench and just loosen this bolt over here just enough to insert this hook into here for a good ground connection. All right, once everything is connected, let's route our lightning cable to where it's accessible from the driver's side. And just look on the left side, you'll see that there's an opening. So grab your lightning cable that you purchase separately and just put your hand in where you feel the opening. Now that the lightning cable has successfully been routed through, grab your interface and plug the AV side adapter from your um, Apple AV adapter into the lightning extension cable. Okay, the next thing we want to route is this box over here. For this car, since it's equipped with factory navigation, we want this switch where it is accessible from the driver's side. So whenever we're mirroring our phone, we're gonna engage the video and navigation in motion by putting it to TV. And this will allow you to display whatever you're displaying from your phone that's being mirrored while the vehicle is in motion. Uh, without this, the, the, the factory lockout feature will not allow you to display what you want to that's being mirrored onto the factory screen. So this is very important. If you have the non-nav version, go ahead and leave it on TV. You can just tuck this behind your radio because you will never have to switch it back to the normal mode just because you don't have factory navigation. So let's go ahead and do this now. So first we're gonna remove the top piece from the, the wire just by pushing onto the tab, just removing it. After you move this, it becomes a little easier to route. And we're gonna route through the same way we routed our lightning extension cable. All right, once it's routed through to the bottom side, grab your switch again, just plug it. I like to keep it where it's not 
visually like looking at me but somewhere where I could kind of just reach my hand there and just switch on and off the switch so I'm gonna just stick it on on the bottom over here okay once you have everything connected just carefully organize all your wires make sure to tape off these areas with electric tape so that there's no exposed metal showing and after you do that just place carefully the interface behind the radio once you have the radio back in place just go ahead and reverse step the installation process and we'll put all our panels back together now that everything is back in place let's plug our phone in and see our phone being mirrored okay the phone is being charged so that's a good thing Okay, where you want to go first is go to audio, touch source, and you'll find that you have a new icon called the AV. If you don't see it, make sure you keep scrolling to the right, sometimes all the way on the next page. Touch AV, and you'll find that your phone is being mirrored. And the first thing that you'll notice is that the image that's being mirrored is not utilizing the entire screen you'll find that there's a little bit of space on the side. So in order to address that, touch the screen, go to screen format, and the default is normal. You wanna change that to stretched. And then touch the full screen button over there. Another thing you wanna make sure is make sure that your radio does not automatically go to the home screen. So in order to change that, go to apps, go to setup, Go to general and you want to scroll down to auto change to home screen so this is not checked so this is good but if it's checked to auto change to home screen even while you're mirroring your phone it will continuously keep going back to the home screen so that could kind of get annoying so make sure you disable that so let's go back to our phone mirroring screen here we go and as you can see the phone is being mirrored in real time. And the phone that I'm using right now is the iPhone 6 Plus. Uh, for all the Plus series, if you go landscape, put your phone sideways, the phone will actually go landscape. But then I'm home screen for other non-Plus models. Actually, this is not possible, just to let you guys know. All right, let me um, just continue on to demonstrate how this device works. So, any apps that you use on your phone will display on your factory screen at the same time, even the sound will work too. So let's start off with all the, the map applications. Let's take Beach Boulevard, Buena Park, and the I-5 South. In 500 feet, turn left. Head south on Cheyenne Way toward Emory Ranch Road. So as you can see, the voice from your phone and the audio also comes out of your car's speakers, which is pretty cool. So if you want, you can actually multitask your phone and say you want to listen to Spotify. And this quality is actually higher quality than the factory Bluetooth system. So if you're the type to enjoy better quality music, then you will definitely enjoy using our smartphone mirroring system and listening to music through this. And while the music is going on, you can have Google Map give you your directions to your destination. And another cool thing about this is if you have any video players um, such as YouTube, Netflix, Hulu, Apple TV, and all those other video players, you can also play video the phone will go into what's called the airplay mode so you'll see that this is connected to airplay on the phone and on your car it'll display the video or the movie that you're displaying and also the sound as well so in times like this you can actually lock your phone black it out and put it away and just enjoy the movie Okay, and as I demonstrated, things you can do in your car using our phone mirroring system is limitless depending on what type of applications you like to use on your phone. Uh, we always tell our customers to not watch movies while driving as it's very, very dangerous to do so. So this is mainly for the map application and also the music application. And compared to Apple CarPlay, this has a lot more functionality 
because Apple CarPlay is limited to just using the Apple Maps and also the ones that are available through Apple iTunes. And another thing to mention is the resolution that you'll see on your screen highly depends on which model you have. So if you have the navigation model, the screen is bigger and it will display more clear picture compared to the non-nav version because non-nav version does have a smaller screen. So just keep that in mind. All right, yeah, I covered it all. This concludes the installation demonstration on this 2017 Toyota Highlander all-wheel drive limited hybrid. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us at info at and make sure to follow us on YouTube. Thank you.